Welcome to my SU News Channel. Priscilla Presley's son Navarone Garibaldi speaks out after Lisa Marie's death amid will issues. Priscilla Presley's son, Navarone Garibaldi Garcia, has spoken out in a rare interview following the death of his half-sister, Lisa Marie Presley. The only daughter of music icon Elvis Presley died suddenly last month at the age of 54, following a cardiac arrest. Navarone was on hand to join his mom at the public memorial on January 22, with the ceremony held at Graceland. Speaking of the loss in a new interview, he said, it's still so surreal. In the wake of Lisa's death, it was claimed that Priscilla had expressed worries over a purported 2016 amendment to her promenade trust. Although Navarone explained that he wasn't close to his half-sister in recent years, he told People magazine that he is closer to her eldest daughter, Riley Keough, and heaped praise on her for how she has treated her siblings, twins Harper and Finley. Riley has been so good with the twins, he continued to the publication. The budding musician also hit back at speculation surrounding his own career in the industry, slamming the misconception that he was raised extravagantly due to his mom's connections. I thought, okay, I'm going into the family business. I'll write a song, and then we'll start touring it, he said. I didn't realize it takes way more than that. He explained that he had been lucky to have some industry knowledge, but added that it is a common misconception that I was raised extravagantly with Elvis's estate and money. That wasn't the case. Navarone's words come after Priscilla reportedly shared concerns over an amendment made to her daughter's will, and questioned whether it was genuine. She filed legal documents in Los Angeles on January 26 which challenged the amendment naming Riley and her brother Benjamin, who died by suicide in 2020, as co-trustees. In the paperwork, it was reported that she claimed she and her late daughter's former business manager Barry Siegel had been appointed co-trustees on January 29, 1993, when Lisa executed a revocable living trust, which she amended and completely restated on January 27, 2010. Priscilla also noted both the 1993 original trust and 2010 restatement appear to be carefully drafted by competent estate planning attorneys. Following her daughter's death, she found a document dated March 11, 2016, which pertained to be an amendment to the trust, removing her and Barry as co-trustees and instead installing Riley and Benjamin. The actress wrote in documents obtained by Entertainment Tonight that there are many issues surrounding the authenticity and validity of the purported 2016 amendment, including the misspelling of her name and that the amendment was never delivered to her during Lisa Marie Presley's lifetime as required by the express terms of the trust. She also argued that her daughter's signature on the 2016 paperwork appears inconsistent with her usual and customary signature and requested that the amendment is declared invalid by a judge. Source, Metro.com Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.